a narcissist. The term narcissist or calling someone a narcissist is almost a trigger word and a trending topic nowadays. But you'll be surprised, all of us actually have narcissistic tendencies. But some people have more than others. The next time you use the word narcissist, you have to keep in mind that you also have some of the tendencies. And you have to have a certain amount of traits in order for you to be a full-blown narcissist. I want you to bear in mind that there's all different types of narcissists as well. Firstly, I want everybody to have a short history lesson on where the term narcissist came from. The word narcissist came from Narcissus, who was basically from Greek mythology. He was apparently so impossibly handsome and he fell in love with his own image. You would think that he was looking at a mirror, but he was actually looking into a pool and he couldn't get over how handsome he looked. Even a young female deity couldn't persuade him to not look at himself, but he was just too self-absorbed to even care. Narcissus' name lives on even having a flower named after him. He definitely took self-love to another level. So now I'm done with the brief history lesson. Now I can list five types of narcissists that researchers and experts typically work around. One, overt narcissism. Two, covert narcissism. Three, magliant narcissism. Four, communal narcissism. Five, antagonistic narcissism. I would suggest that you take a deeper look into these titles so you can get a deeper understanding of all of these types of narcissists. Those are just some examples of narcissists. If you're wondering what are the most common signs of a narcissist, here are some that can help you identify a narcissist. Sense of self-importance. Preoccupation with power, beauty, or success. Entitled. Can only be around people that can do things for them. Exploiting others for their own gain. Arrogant. Lack of empathy. And they always want to be admired. I would say before you assume someone's a full-blown narcissist, they would need to see a healthcare professional. They would be the ones to help diagnose them with MPD. They'll ask them some questions about their life and some of the interactions that they have. This could be with strangers, friends, family members, etc. There isn't a specific test for MPD. They need to at least have five of the following criteria. One, an exaggerated sense of self-importance. Two, fantasies of great success, power, attractiveness, beauty, or ideal love. Three, believing themselves to be special and only understood by other people that are special. Four, an increase of self-entitlement. Five, a need for consistent admiration or attention. Six, taking advantage of others, envying others, or believing others envy them. Seven, arrogance. Eight, a lack of empathy. Nine, envy towards others or believing that others envy them. That was just an idea of some of the traits that someone could possess in order for them to be diagnosed with MPD. But there are many more things that classes someone to be a narcissist. And there'll be a lot more questions that the healthcare professional will ask in order to find out more. Someone with potential MPD could be waiting weeks or months before they are fully diagnosed. So I hope this video gives you a clearer understanding of narcissists. And if you want to know more or if you want relationship or mental health coaching, click the link in my bio.